All right, so with Poke Rogue being offline due to a DDoS attack, I know there's quite a few people who still enjoy, obviously, playing that game and want to continue playing that game, even though, you know, their progress may not be saved when it does come back on live. But um, to play the offline mode for Poke Rogue, it's actually very easy, thanks to a wonderful person who made a GitHub uh, page that has everything you need to basically download it to your computer and open the ap application and then you can just start playing. So real quick I'm going to show you how that's done. The link to the GitHub will be posted in the description below and I'll also pin it to the comments in the video uh, for quick access but it's very simple. What you do is go to this GitHub and then you want to go down to, let me, hold on, let me move this down. You want to go down for Windows users, which I'm, I'm a Windows user. You're going to go to the Poke Rogue Windows Zip. If you're a Mac user, use this. If you're a Linux user, use this. So you want to download this, which I already have downloaded. Once you have that downloaded, you want to uh, move it to a folder on your desktop. You can create a folder. That's what I did. And then you want to extract it in that folder so all the files are then displayed and that will look like this so give me one second here let's go to this all right so here's the folder that has all the file well it's got the the main folder here just right here uh, these are actually my save files from Poke Rogue. Uh, and I'll kind of show you how to do that. So moving forward, the next time this happens, you, you will have updated information. So the offline mode can then continue on with your progress and all that good stuff. But anyways, so in this folder, you're going to see the Poke Rogue application right here. So you honestly just open this. And that will then open up the game for you, which I will then show you here and what to do next. Which is right here. So now that the game is open, what you want to do is not log in because if it's offline, this isn't going to work. So there's no point in continuing, but you do want to go to file and you want to go to download latest uh, offline files and all that good stuff. You probably can't see what it's doing right now. But there is a pop-up. It's going to say that it's not responding. Just ignore that. It's doing its stuff in the background. So I promise you it's working. And when it's done, it's going to refresh the application. So we're going to take a moment here to wait for that to happen. I want to keep this whole process in play so that you guys can get an idea with how long this takes so that you're not worried that it's just not doing anything. Uh, it, it, it may take a while, so it, it's all based on the internet speed. But once it's done, um, it'll, the pop-up will go away. Um, for some reason, for me, this time around, it didn't actually refresh, but that's fine. But it, it normally it, it uh, refreshes the application, and it takes you back to this screen, and then go to Settings which I, unfortunately you can't see this for how this is being captured. That's fine. But if you go to settings, the very first line says offline mode uses separate save. Click that, refreshes the application. And now uh, I already have my uh, save file loaded. So it would just say new game, load game, daily run beta. So now what you want to do is you want to use the M key for menu. Go down to manage data with your arrow keys and you'll see the options to import export uh, but for you you want to import your data that's what you want to do first is import your data select your data uh, file uh, if you already have it saved from when this was online it then refreshes and uh, it will bring you back to looking like this, uh, where it says continue. So like it will have all my, all my information from that last time that I saved will then be displayed here. 
if you import sessions, it will continue the session that you left off at if you save that. Uh, so that's what import session is for. So if you are in the middle of an endless run, and if the game is offline, and for whatever reason you want to try to progress it, you can do so. Same thing with classic, same thing with daily, it's whatever, you, whatever you do. Personally, for me, I'm I'm just starting an offline only run, basically, so that when Poke Rogue is down for whatever reason, or it's having server issues, all that fun jazz, I have an offline save file that just does its own thing. Um, and my online stuff, I will still use through the browser application like normal. Um, I might use this uh, as well going forward, but is what it is but that's basically how easy it is um so for those that are wanting to play and you know scratch that itch because you're addicted to this game like i am here you go uh if you have any questions leave comments down below i can try to get back with you as soon as i can um but yeah that's that's basically it it's super easy all thanks to uh, the guy who made that github page he basically did all the hard work for us um i looked online i saw all these other things that people are saying to do to play online with all these different powershell coding and all that that's not necessary this guy's done all the work for us kudos to him he gets all the credit please uh check him out and support him and then of course support the devs for making such a great game uh and again with that said you all have a good time hopefully servers are back up soon uh for those that do the ddos Fuck you guys. Alright. It's not cool. It's not funny. You guys are fucking assholes. And with that said, love you all. Bye.